Welcome to hole number one of the Winter Springs Tournament played on the Sharuba Springs course. Quasar in an extra mile here. Four and a half top, two bars of left spin, playing it on the left-hand side here. Very straightforward play. You want to have that second bounce just past the bunker. Guys, I hope you're looking forward to this video because I think this is a tough course and I've got a lot of different options in here. Multiple holes will have multiple routes and techniques to play these holes. So let me know in the comments below what you think and how you think the tournament's going to go for you. I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, I'm always optimistic on Sharuba, so let's hope this time we can get it done. 10% max on the first shot, negative 20% mid here uphill on the second shot playing with a long iron two bars of backspin and i've got the backbone but no reason that you couldn't use a grizzly or a goliath or a grim Re reaper for that matter whatever works for you as long as you can point that little ball guide at the pin and make a clean pull you should have a reasonable chance to get a drop here the thing about this course it's like there's so many shots that are so straightforward but you just have to be ever so perfect and exacting in your shots to get that result you desire. And I desire it too. I'm playing to win. Get in the hole. We'll see you on number two. Okay, welcome to hole number two. This first par three, it's not too, too bad. I'm setting up here, as you can see, with a basic ball. But I'm going to recommend a Marlin, okay, for tournament play. But again, it can be done. I'm going to show you right now. I'm actually going to apply here 2.2 bars of backspin or so. And you can see that second bounce up on the green. I think that's an important indicator to try to get a consistent outcome here. This one can be tough because you're landing on a bit of a slope. But if you're not interested in rough bumps, which, spoiler, I'm going to show you next, this is going to be the technique for you. Right, David Harris? Much love, bro. Let's go, Shinobi. Come on, baby. Get in the hole. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. All right, hole number two with a rough bump. I mean, honestly, the iron you use here is basically interchangeable. Uh, interchangeable. I'm playing three bars of right spin and essentially no top or back spin unless the wind really dictates it directly at the pin here. And I do have that ball guide about one green square through the pin. 20% mid seems to be the consistent number here for this hole from the front tee. And otherwise, this is it. Straightforward. Now, I do pull down into the bunker ever so slightly. I didn't do anything major to compensate for that. But if you pull down much more, you may need to push your rings up before you take your shot. So keep that in mind. You can always play a little different in the tournament. But this one's a good chance for a boom, too. Hole number three, our first par five. And I'm showing you a pretty low level example, but this is how you're going to play it, even with a little bit higher level club. So I've got a basic ball. Bring a Titan. Okay, extra mile, setting it up to bounce over the first rough here. Now, this is not a bad plan. It can be done for all sorts of people. Four and a half top, one left hand bag and ball combinations. Now, a bit of headwind here, so I am giving it a bit of overpower and just a little bit of left curl just to keep it away from that rough on the right hand side. You can see we're very close to that, so the curl is essential in that win. Second shot here, bring your longest wood. Now, if you have a high level club and ball, you might be able to get this one pretty darn close. However, many will not. And the idea for me here is max top, a little bit of left spin and max over power. And when you try to hit perfect, that needle is going pretty crazy. Uh, but you'll see this one still manages to find its way to the fairway just ever so nicely here. Now, quite a bit uphill here. However, for whatever reason, this shot was played at 20% mid distance i want you to double check that in the tournament wind okay so check it out i'm gonna to try to land it here up on the flat surface either the fringe or the green i think the hill in front of the green here is a big slope and you're gonna have a harder time getting consistency on a shot like that you might be an end bringer range i mean you might be able to get this one crazy down here but this is the kind of hole you want to make sure to secure your eagle so that you're not going to be giving away any shots on a course that is manageable, you know, and we just have to go for our opportunities when they are a little bit more plentiful. So in the hole, moving on. Hole number four, this part three, I think this one is a pretty darn good chance at a drop. I'm playing this one with a quasar and a backbone. One back, two bars of right spin here. And you'll see we're going to use a 25% mid adjustment. So that's 1.7 rings. So there's two right. We should go one bar backspin. There we go. Getting it lined up. And you can see how I'm using 
the ball guide here just to line it up to the hole. Now, I can't recall. I think, oh yeah, I thought we were going to play with the Titan there for a minute. I'm like, I don't know why we'd keep the Titan in play because all you need is a Quasar for this shot. I got that red, red ring very close to the edge of the bunker. And just check out that ball guide, how we're lining it up right to the pin. Perfect away. You know what to do. I think this one is going to be a very good chance from the front tee. A little bit different from the second and third. Get in the hole. Hole number five. We got a big choice to make. Are you going to go left? Or are you going to go right? This example will be going left. We're going to use four and a half top, one bar of left spin here, and 10% max on this pull. Very straightforward setup here. Everybody can do this shot. Now, I do push this one up just a little bit. The reason is, in this wind, we were getting the ball behind that light post. So you don't want to be, you don't want to be there. You want to be before the light post or after it. And I think in this example, I was just trying to reach a little bit past it there. It gets us a bit close to the rough. If you're finding that, just give it a little couple clicks of left curl, right? All in good fun. Second shot here, you can play it. You can see we're right between clubs. Min sniper is going to be good. Gives us room to adjust. Four bars of backspin. And I'm trying to get this one just right to the pin. Now, the second example that I show you here, playing it on the right side with a rough bump is a bit more my speed. But this is, again, a shot that is completely acceptable. And, you know, if you get this one lined up just so, it does have a very good chance to drop. And, you know, if you've got bad wind for the rough bump, this is the way I would be playing it, you know, from rookie or pro um, all the time. So perfect bomb here. Come on, baby. Get in the hole. Spoiler, we're going to miss ever so slightly. But I still think this is a very good path, very viable route. And I think it's important that we all know. All right. So hole number five from the right side. This plays totally differently. Still setting up with a cheap ball. Quasar for me. Using all the top and all the right that this, no, not quite all the top. One and a half top. Couple bars of right spin here. I was getting a little excited there, uh, but we are right at max. About half that red ring in the rough on the right. And you'll see here, we give this just about a quarter ball of right curl. Nothing too crazy. Middle wall, if you will. Uh, but this is a very practice shot. It is good to use the quarterback or the rock here. Uh, if my friendly viewers are listening, uh, it does give you good consistency for the drive, even though I played with the extra mile and pro. Uh, second shot, we're going to use the Goliath here. 10% max. Uh, you'll see we're right at max there. So any shorter uh, and we would be, you know, between clubs. So keep that in mind. You do want to be reaching with the max shot here. 3.5 bars of top spin. 3.5 in this wind seems to give us a very nice ball guide running just up to that pin this green you know it can be a little bit glitchy so don't stress too much on it just try to make sure you give yourself a nice clean chance at the drop getting at the pull here 10 percent max goliath is good because you don't need to pull as many rings especially when you're up there close to the bunker and any nonsense around this hole all in all you know we got a chance to get this one down Ooh not this time <laughs> see you on number six hole number six par five and this is no mistake we are driving on the left hand side with the big dog yes there's an uh, extra mile play this one's pretty good too four four point two or something bars of top spin here and you'll see we're going to change that app to 10 percent max for the adjustment as well so make our little adjustment got to change some things around that's a sniper matt come on there you go come on big dog you can do it. Hey, there we go. Get it all straight before you get into the hole, okay? So you don't have to waste time like that. That's a really good tip if you're struggling with using the apps during play. Try to get everything set up before you go in, especially in tour uh, tournament play. I know in tour play, you know, you have to be a little bit more nimble. But all in all here, could have gone a bit more aggressively. Definitely can get this one further down. But you'll see only from 266 yards. The second shot then with the big dog allows us to get this one very, very close to the green without a big struggle. So once again, with the big top, big dog, this time six top, two left. We're going to go basically max left curl or about one and a half balls left curl and a good bit of overpower. Not quite max, but maybe so it would have been a bit nicer here. But as you can see, as soon as you're close to the green here, you got that end bringer, baby. Bring it home. Hole number six, setting up here with the quarterback and a Titan ball. Take careful note of where this setup is. 
That yellow ring is touching the bunker and it is touching the rough on the right hand side. I'm applying two top, two left. And now we're seeing we're going max overpower, that much curl, and then the full hook. Full hook. And this is a really good shot once you get it dialed into the winds. Might need a bit more curl, might need a bit more top spin. All depends on the circumstance. But once you do, this one is a great way to play this hole. And yeah, check out the second shot. Very decent chance here now for an albatross on an otherwise very long challenging hole here. Six bars of top spin, two left spin with the current side spin values. And you'll see here, I'm actually setting this one up like aiming slightly left of the pin. Um, might have actually needed to play it with a little bit more elevation. But all in all, this is an interesting way to play this hole. And this one takes me back, you know, to some very good times. Mark Kibari and Mr. Christian Theory. Those to Golf Clash come to mind as some expert players here on Sharuba Hole 6. So all in all, good effort here. Looking nice. See you on number seven. Hole number seven. Now, this one has a few options. I'm going to show you this layup here. Katana and a quarterback. Four back, one and a half bars of right spin. And I'm just setting this one up right down the middle. Now, if you do not even want to try the rough bump at all, which only has one bar of right spin, then, okay, play it to the left, play it safe, and you'll have, a, you know, you'll have a decent shot for the second shot as well. There is the power bomb on the right. If you've got the clubs and balls, then go for it. You know what to do. Grip it and rip it. However, 20% max down the middle here with the layup, four back, one and a half right. Second shot going with the sniper and one right and a, one right and about 0.2 bars of backspin. Now you will see there's a little bit of glitch uh, in the green here when I move it back and forth. I kind of settle on the left side of the glitch. That's an important detail because uh, this one's going to have a good outcome, okay? So get it in there, set up nicely. You can kind of see half that blue ring peeking out onto the fairway. So 25% max here on this pull. And, uh, you know, I think this is a good all-around route that all players can attempt. And like I said, if you want to play left, go for it. If you got that big balls, then you know what to do. So here we go. Clean hit. Rolling out beautifully to the pin. Ah, come on now. This is what we're talking about. Hole number eight, starting off here with a conservative bounce shot. Two bars of backspin, two bars of left spin. Set this one up with a quasar and a backbone. And you see how I've just got that ball guide running straight to the green. The blue rings are just kissing the rough on either side. So keep that in mind if that is an indicator you are looking for. But otherwise, this one is really straightforward. 20% max on the pull here. And, you know, all in all, this is a good win for this shot. And, you know, this is a very respectable, respectable way to do it. If you've got a club with a better ball guide, that's really the one thing that you could really improve here. Uh, just to have that ball guide to the pin, right? Otherwise, you're kind of guessing. But that's the fun of the, of the first tee. Close. Good shot. I'll show you the rough bump next. Okay, and here's that hole eight rough bump. You do need top spin here. 5.5 bars of top spin, one and a half bar of left spin. So that's pretty much going to mean the Goliath. For most players, unless you've got some pretty high-level clubs. Uh, Goliath 7, you'll have that ball guide really to the pin. But with the 6 here, you're just going to have it a couple of green squares short. 15% max is going to be the pull. And I'm not a massive fan of pulling down here into the bunker. So I'm trying to use the rings above the yellow, even though it's still going down. It feels straighter in my mind. I don't push up here. It wasn't actually necessary, as you'll see. But perfect away. That is always the play. And I think, you know, this is probably how most players are going to choose to play this hole. Get in the hole. Hole number nine. This part five, I find it a bit boring because it's hard to get an albatross to finish my stream with. Max top, one to one and a half bars of right spin here. Setting up with the big topper very close to the top of the rough. And this one is very much in minimum distance. In fact, in some tailwinds, you might have to underpower this shot or you might have to play a different ball. So keep that in mind. This is uh, it's pretty good, especially in, in tailwind for sure. So clean pull there. 10% min, like I said, tighten, big topper, tiny bit of overpower here. Just a little click of right curl. Just how I was feeling it, you know, into the wind, giving it a little go. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, would you please? Thank you very much. And hit that thumbs up button. All in good fun. Always building out more and more Golf Clash content. 
342, second shot with the big dog. Very straightforward here. Six bars of top spin or seven if you've got it. Two bars of right spin. Bouncing from the previous fairway here. Give yourself a little tiny bit of room with that red ring just in case of an accidental great ball. We're going to hit perfect, but you just never know, right? And I give this one like 10% max pull. And we're going to give it about one and a half balls of right curl. So you'll see here way outside there that left edge of the ball guide is just about touching the little triangle thank you guys so very much for watching the video with me i'm looking forward to playing the tournament live with you and check ehrlichgaming.com for free tournament notes based on this video Ooh, get to the green let's go we'll see you on the course thank you for watching